Hi there folks, Jackie here from jmccreates.blogspot.co.uk I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live in Northern Ireland and this is the project we're making today It's a hexagonal box I've made my own little tag from the Sweet and Sassy Hearts This is done with papers from my stash um, I've used this little jar candle that I got from the pound shop, you get them in cream, pink and blue. I've wrapped it with um, the same paper. I've made a tag with the same papers. I've used the lovely something, I'll get it in a minute, and the fabulous foil acetate. Now, I got this um, idea from Steph at FAN Cards. She did a bigger one and um, I'll put the link to her channel below as usual in the description box and you can go and check her out. Just hold, I think I've forgotten the dies. Yes, that's them. The lovely word stunlets. That's what I used, okay. And that's my little tag and then my little jar comes out and you see the acetate and it's so pretty okay and then you just make sure your tags and when you're putting it back in the right way and the lid fits on easy peasy lemon squeezy today we are going to use a cream candle which i've already covered in the springtime foils and we are going to use some more fabulous foil acetate um, the springtime foils and this is the one eighth of an inch gold ribbon from Stampin' Up! okay so what do we want to do we want a piece of card that is nine and a half by five and a quarter we need for the lid a piece of card that is nine and three quarters by three this is a die cut that i used from tonic dies and i used that to cover the gubbins on the top of the box okay I've used the uh, Sweet and Sassy Hearts and this is how we're going to make our tag we're just going to put it in our scoreboard and we're going to score it at half full then we're just going to fold it back we're going to turn that one round and we're going to stick it on there and we're going to do that now so that it's stuck for when I want to use it okay So I'm um, if I stop halfway through this it's because I'm using my own phone and it's still not fixed right and I have no idea what's going to happen. Okay. So um I used for the front of this I used the Love You from Party Pandas and No, that's for the front of this. That's a for you and that's from Labels to Love. And this one, Love You, is from for the inside and it's for Party Pandas. Okay, I'm just going to stick them on now. You want to use a one eighth of an inch hole punch and punch a hole just centrally before you stick that on. I don't want to be too far down and I don't want to be too far up. What do you think? Go for it. Oh well, there we go. Not too bad. And you want to do the same on only you're going to do double the double bit. Okay. And then you just need to stick those on, which we will go ahead and do. Okay. 
and that'll be our tag ready for the ribbon and then we'll go on to the nitty gritty stuff okay then you can write I stamp to and from in there from one of the stamp sets but I haven't done it in this one just put your ribbon through right where was the one for the top of this what did I do with it there she blows right I want to actually put my put my ribbon on that first before I'm just going to fold, just cut a length, fold it in half, put it through your hole. Oh, I've torn it. Jeez Louise. Right, I'm going to have to cut another one. Okay. I mucked it up, I cut it too close to the top. Sure I did. wonder could this work if I did it this far down. If it doesn't work, I'll cut a different one and put it on. Okay, let's pull that through. Okay, and then tie that on. It might actually work. I might be lucky and I might not, but we'll see. Just a wee bit of foam tape. I'm not sure you see how long this blinking camera is going to run before it cuts out. Let's do my hair in. And Apple can't seem to fix the problem either. I had to restore it to factory settings. That's still not fixed. So I have to call them up again on Monday when I, when I, when some of my patients returns, if it does, because Tyler's just gone home and TJ's due shortly. Right, that ribbon can, oops, we better put that pin in, that ribbon. Right, so, let's get on with the nitty gritty and do our scoring. Okay, and we want to score our base on the long side at one and a half, three, four and a half, Six, seven and a half, and nine. Okay, and then turn it left, and you want to score it at one and three quarters. That's your base. Then you put your lid in and your wrong side. Now, this is this is fidgety, so I'm going to give you the full marks first before I do the sixteenth ones. So. Three and one eight. Okay. Six and one eight. And nine and a quarter. Then I want to do one and nine sixteenths four and four eight and one's nine so i'm just going to make a mark where i want it take it to take it to um a groove take your mark that you've made to a groove and run it down i'm going to bring this closer to me to see this good night the next one is four and nine sixteenths Four and nine sixteenths will be there. And seven and eleven. Four, four, eight, twelve. So eleven will be there and slide it right. Okay. That should be your markings. So. One and nine sixteenths. Three and an eighth. Four and nine sixteenths, six and one eighth, seven and eleven sixteenths, and nine and a quarter. Is your lid, and you turn it left, and you go one and three quarters. Okay. And that's your scoring done. Right. 
Let me pencil off the floor and do our scoring. Um, cross your fingers that everything's where it's supposed to be. <laughs> Right, that's our lid, furnish our sides, quite straightforward this once you, um, once you get into the swing of it, it's a pretty easy little box to make, there's my scissors right in front of me and I can see no so scissors are right in front of me and I still see, couldn't see them. Right, you want to cut off a small rectangle to your right, but I'm doing mine. I can see the score lines better on the wrong side, so I'm cutting out the small rectangle to the left of me, and I'm cutting out the score lines, okay? And then I am going to go up both sides of these other score lines at the bottom piece and cut the score line out completely, okay? It just makes the bottom sit neatly. <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to do about with this blinking phone. The temptation to put it in the bin is strong within me. The force is strong within me. I'm running out of patience. So another phone call to Apple and God loves them, they're doing their best, but they're not doing it to my satisfaction because it's not working. I don't know what David did to it there now. He did something to it and it's going again. So we'll see how long it goes for. I'm just folding the bits back and taking out the score lines completely. If anybody has any questions or anything, please feel free to get in touch. Now you want to you want to do your die cutting now. So you find your bike, so this one here is your front. And you decide which one you're using. What did I use there? The lovely. What about the hugs this time? What about the hugs? Do I have enough acetate to cover that? Yes, I should do. So what one did I say? That one there is the back. So this one here is the front. So really all you're going to do is set it in centrally. You know. So what it looks. Like it's in the middle. Okay. And I am going to tape this down. Stop it. And run it through the e bosser. Okay, so magnetic. So there we go, all done. Just peel it off nice and easy, and there's your die cut. And that is from the lovely words. Lovely words, sunlets. Okay, so next you want to put your acetate on. So you want a bit, now because this, I might have an A4 machine, um, but you don't actually need an A4 machine for this because this is only five and a quarter wide, it should go through innocent except for the wee tiny ones. Right, we want a bit of this acetate on here like that. So we're going to cut it off a bit there. Okay. Right, that bit we will keep for a later date. And this has a protective back in it on the back, so you want to take that off. Okay. And then just a little bit of glue, 
I'm just putting wee dabs on. I'm not putting big blobs on. I'm just putting little dabs on. And then I am going to turn it over on that little mat and squidge it down so that it covers a bit more. Okay. And then we are going to stick it down. Okay. And hopefully that will grab the acetate at the front then. And the glue won't squidge out. In case anybody's worried about me putting big globs of glue on. I don't really have much patience so I like to put... Oh that's a little bit tight there, did you see that? It's a little bit tight so we're just going to cut a little bit off the acetate. Make sure it fits. Okay. And then it just folds over. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm sorry, I need to blow my nose. I have a horrible cold again. I know. Summer's coming eventually. First of all, we have to find spring, although the sun is out today for America. And then what you're going to do is you're going to gently you see where those lines are? You're going to gently fold them in. The lines, the scores that you've made there, you're going to fold the acetate into them. Just so as that it sits. It, it doesn't have to be really sharp creased. It just has to get the right shape approximately. Now this is, this bit is not easy, it's very predictable to get it the right shape. Okay, so that's my front, that's my back. To get these all to stay in line. Ho ho, we're not doing too bad. You know, they all have to measure up, they all have to meet. I don't know what I did, but it went right this time, so just get them all stuck down quick, Jackie. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not always as easy as that, trust me. <laughs> Sometimes miracles happen. There we go. Somebody, so it's one of my lovely, um, Commenter said I am user and that was to me that was the biggest compliment. I made her laugh, she says. Right, that's her box done. Look, all pearly. Now we're going to do your lid. So the actual long the biggest squares are your lid, but you need to cut up both sides of those score lines. They are going to be your top. The shortest bit is the bit round the side. So make sure you cut the long sections. Okay. So, this is the lovely free paper. It's actually a card from Celebration. Which actually ends at the end of March. If you spend £45, you can get this card free or this paper pack free whatever it is and actually they've added a whole lot more stuff so there's quite a few things that you could get free so if you're going to purchase something do it now while you can still get something free with it make the most Make your books go a long way. Right, I'm just holding that down like that to squidge it. Okay. Okay. Actually, I'm not. I did it wrong. See, I knew I would do it wrong. I'm just going to wrap that round. Make sure it fits first and hold it there that's more like it we want to hold it there so that it fits 
No point in holding it if it doesn't fit. Right, front and back. Oh, I forgot to cut them bits off. You never told me that. My goodness. I forgot to cut the wee bits off. Look, I've opened it again. Okay, cut them bits off. Stupid woman. Stupid beast. Okay. Cut off the scores. That's what they are, the score lines. Cut them off. When you do that, before you stick it. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> right. That is the back there. Right. If you fold it round, if you hold it round your box, then you'll know your lid's going to fit. Okay, so back, front, sides. Now let's see if we're as lucky with this bit as we were with the last bit. Because I bet you a fiver we're not. Okay. Sorry, concentrating and I'm not speaking. I know it doesn't happen very often. Enjoy it while it is. No, that one's wider. Why? I forgot to score, cut that score line out. Right, make sure they're all where they should be. Right, like that, and hold, 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 tight as you can without squidging it, okay, and that is our lovely lid for our lovely box. All you need to do now is stick on them bits. Right. I need some more ribbon. For my, my tag for the side. Okay, just cut a lance, fold it in half, feed it through your hole. Okay. There we go, and we're going to stick that, we're going to stick that on there, like that. So we need to cut some more off it for it's a wee bit too long. We don't want it hanging down too far. Oh, come on, I know you fit. Right. That's the back. And that's the front. Right. And you want to stick that down there, like that. A little bit of tape. Okay, and then just stick your circle on the top. And we have left off. Okay. Right. I'm going to do that like that. And we're going to take our candle out and set it on there. And then we look for James. It's like there's no shoe, no shoe without punch, no shoe without gems. If it doesn't have a gem, it's not finished. 
in my opinion. Okay, so I'm just going to stick a few on my on my tag. Just stick three on randomly. Like that. That's my tag. And then where's the other one for my candle? We're going to do the same for it. These are just little cheap ones that I got from the range. Pain a strip. Okay. And then that goes round your candle. You see, somebody said, the lovely Carla told me my attention to detail was amazing. So thank you very much, Carla. That made me feel really good. And I do have to say, I prefer, if I'm going to do something, I prefer to do it right. So this way it looks all coordinated. Okay. Now, I wonder is there football or something on? I can hear David shouting downstairs. Football or rugby. It's Saturday, I suppose there's something on. Can you see your wee candle in? You put your wee lid on. And there you go. There is your beautiful gift that anyone would be proud of. And there's the pink one. So, once again, I'd like to thank you all for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed my project. Give it a go, that would be great. Um, and I hope to see you again soon. Till next time, check it out.